Sessions Cafe TV show. Where do I start? Uh, well, first, of course, I'm Kerry D. Singleton, the host and producer of Sessions Cafe TV show. Uh, it's a great new show that uh, we're shooting at Eminem TV in New York City. And I'm really excited about the concepts and the, the guests and, and, and the dialogue that I'm going to have with my guests on this, uh, on this brand new talk show. Following uh, a 10 year, eight month run with the Kerry's Corner Radio Show, I felt it was time to do something different. And I, I wanted to rebirth, I should say, Sessions Cafe TV show, which was initially uh, born in um, the pandemic era around uh, 2020. Uh, the story basically goes that uh, my friend and manager at the time, uh, Dion McGill, had this awesome idea, or so he thought, um, to put together a talk show where I would host and bring on different guests. I was a little apprehensive at first because a couple of years back, um, we had attempted, we meaning another producer and myself, had attempted uh, doing a TV show, but it was called the Kerry's Corner TV Show, and that show was basically a television version of the radio show. We did a couple of episodes, I wasn't really feeling the vibe and the energy of the show. And so after maybe five episodes or so, you know, I was just like, you know what? Let's not do this. You know, I just really wasn't feeling the idea. I felt that the radio show was enough. I didn't feel like a TV show version of the radio show would be uh, something that the public would embrace. So fast forward to 2020, Dion McGill asks me, um, if I'd like to do a TV show. And initially I was like, absolutely not. Because basically I felt it would be like a carbon copy of the uh, previously tried and failed Kerry's Corner uh, TV show. But he said he wanted a different concept, a different vibe, different energy, and that it would not be um, basically my radio personality on TV. It would be a whole different energy, a whole different vibe, and a whole different platform. So in 2020, um, we did the first episode, or we planned on doing the first couple of episodes of the show. Uh, Kevon Merrill was the assistant producer, and Paul Dorsa was the producer of the brand new Sessions Cafe TV show, which was uh, going to basically focus on ordinary people with extraordinary stories. We shot a couple of episodes. Um, they were aired on Brooklyn's cable access uh, network, which is called Brick TV. And... We did pretty good. I mean, we got an award for it, but I kind of felt um, that artistically, I, I, I wanted to go in a different direction than our liaison at Brick TV wanted us to go. And so I decided, you know what, let's put a pause on the show until the radio show is over, and then I will revisit it. So now, here we are in 2024. The Kerry's Corner Radio Show stopped taping last year. Um, in December, and here we are now uh, taping episodes of Session Cafe TV show with a great new team, a great new staff, and at Eminem Studios in Manhattan, which gives us the room, the energy, and the platform to grow into what I think is going to be a great show. Um, so we're looking forward to interviewing a lot of different guests on the show with different ideas, different thoughts, different stories, much more serious platform. I would say, than the actual radio show, and I'm looking forward to it. We've already started taping for season two of Sessions Cafe TV show, and I'm really excited about where the show is going to go. Our media partner, Intrigue Magazine, is behind us. Uh, we have a lot of great, great, great people. We have uh, AJ from Vision X Photography. We have Junior from Junior Images. Um, Kalia Clark is our stylist, and we just have a great, great group of people working on this project. So I'm looking forward to it. And I hope you'll check in and tune in to Sessions Cafe TV show.